Hello best friends. So the other day I was on Carrie Fletcher's videos uh, and I saw her draw YouTubers and I thought it's a really good idea. So I got my pen out. Jim Chapman was just an ordinary guy. He likes to do ordinary things until one day, the day before his birthday in fact, a radioactive tumbler cat came out of nowhere and bit him. As you can see, it hurt quite a lot. But you know what they say, no pain, no gain. And overnight, he became the catastrophic cat man. Suddenly, he could jump really high and possess amazing balance and incredible agility. He also had a really weird urge to eat unidentifiable meat in unusual jelly stuff. Plus, he loved a good nap. It was actually a good job he developed these extra powers because on his first day of being a superhero, his girlfriend, who had amazing boobs, Tanya Burr, had been kidnapped by a mysterious shadowy figure. It turns out that this mysterious evildoer was actually two evildoers, or one, depending on your definition. The dastardly two-headed dino sug! Zoe was the brains of this outfit, whilst Joe was stupid, but very, very aggressive. Together, they made a terrifying evil team. On his journey to save Tanya and destroy the evil siblings, Catman ran into two other Cape Crusaders, Miss Showdown with another set of evil relations, this time twins. Dangerous Dan and Petrifying Phil were teaching Jumping Jack and Flipping Finn a lesson in ass kicking. Eventually, Catman made it to the secret evil lair of the Dinosaurs, but Joe and Zoe were prepared and they had sent Deadly Alfie Days as a one very, very big man welcoming committee. Deadly Day swung for Catman, but he was no match for Jim's lightning reflexes and nine lives. In the end, Catman used Alfie as a massive scratching pole. Jim had to admit that he found it a little strange to see Marcus the butler offer him a drink just before reaching the inner sanctum, but beating Deadly Days to a pulp had left him quite parched, so he took a nice glass of milk. Cats love milk. Finally, our hero made it into the heart of the evil sibling's lair, only to find out that it wasn't that evil after all. In fact, it was actually quite nice. Turns out that it was a surprise party for Jim's birthday. Everyone was there. Tanya, Marcus, Alfie, Zoe and Joe, Dan and Phil. The only people who couldn't make it were Jack and Finn, because they really were evil and Dan and Phil had killed them. The end. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I love you. Have a good week and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.